Hi, I'm Lindsay Lefkoff. I'm the Director of Education here at SparkFun Electronics. And I'm Lindsay Craig, the Educational Outreach Coordinator. I'm Nick Poole, Catalog Assistant and guy who plays with the toys. And today we have a special guest, Daphne, and we're going to show you how to play with squishy circuits. Today we're going to go over two types of dough. We have the purple conductive dough, which has a high salt content, which makes it conductive, and the red insulating or non-conductive dough, which has deionized water and high sugar. Both doughs are incredibly easy to make and you will find the recipes in this blog post. Using these two types of dough, you can create really interesting circuits, starting very simply with just a few LEDs or working into some more advanced techniques. So here we have our starfish sandwich, which consists of two layers of the conductive dough, the purple, sandwiched with one layer of the green insulating dough. As you can see, the insulating dough prevents the two purple conductive layers from ever touching, which would short the circuit. Once you have your sandwich, you can then add your LEDs. One thing that is really important is to make sure that you have all five LEDs in the same orientation. In this case, we will have the bottom layer being the ground and the top layer is the power. Once you have all five LEDs oriented in the sandwich, you can then power the circuit. And the LEDs light up. So what I've got here is a very simple circuit using LEDs breadboard, an Arduino, a 9-volt battery, and some of our conductive Play-Doh. In this example, the conductive Play-Doh is acting as a variable resistor or a squishy potentiometer. As I draw this out and create more resistance for the electricity to travel through, so it has to travel through more Play-Doh, more and more of the LEDs light up. In this circuit, we have an Arduino a 9 volt, piezo buzzer, and then our squishy circuit is acting as a variable resistor in a voltage divider. Now we're going to have our squishy circuit specialist show us how it's really done. Now we're going to get into some more advanced squishy circuits. Here you can see that I've incorporated an Arduino Pro Mini into my squishy circuit. Just like in the starfish sandwich circuit, I have one layer of conductive dough acting as my ground layer. And instead of having a power layer, I have pads of conductive dough sandwiched again with a layer of insulating or non-conductive dough and these pads are connected to the digital pins on the Arduino. I'm powering it with a 9 volt power adapter and now I have a simple sketch running that's just blinking uh, the digital pins on and off one after the other and I can insert LEDs here on either side of the digital pins. They'll light up when the digital pin is pulled high by the sketch. Now that you've been introduced to squishy circuits, with the help of DJ Daphne, it's time for a dance party. <laughs> 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 